Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. And today I'm uh, talking a little bit about the uh, multi-fuel stove. Uh, this is a really cool stove. It's uh, one we invented. Uh, the multi-fuel stove was designed to burn isopropyl alcohol, uh, but additionally it burns all other kinds of alcohols as well. Uh, denatured alcohol, gelled alcohols, um, hand sanitizer. Uh, this is really our international stove. This is one I take wherever I go in Maria, Iceland, the UK. Uh, I take this stove because almost no matter where I go, I can find a fuel that will burn in it. So this is a quick video to show you how we manufacture the multi-fuel stove. Hey, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. So I am out of um, Epicurean 2.5s, and so I need to make a batch. Now, this is a surprisingly a low volume product for the multi-fuel stove. Uh, so the easiest way for me to do this is I make a paper pattern. Um, I've got these repurposed uh, stainless steel containers. Uh, these are tricky to find uh, because you've got to get the right thickness, right diameter, and right thermal properties. So that's half the battle. Uh, since it's low volume, I don't have any special tooling for this. So what I typically do is make a paper pattern, uh, wrap it around it, and most of it is hand labor and punching. So uh, let's get to it. So the pot supports on the... Uh, multi-fuel. There are three pot supports and I scallop uh, in between there so I know I get good support only at three points. And again, it's just a simple hand trim. And I take that over to a wire wheel and I clean it up a bit. So the uh, multi-fuel stove, as you know, has a whole lot of holes. I think there's 60 holes. And this is where most of the uh, time is spent on the stove, just punching all these holes. One. So these uh, inlet airports, there are 48 of them. And now I got to put in the last, the uh, inlet ports down the bottom. There are 12 of those. One, sixty holes. Now I have to do the slotting. Now I have to cut uh, three slots that forms the leg. Okay, so we now got some uh, hand cut edges here, and uh, some of these were abrasively cut, so we got to clean up the outside and the inside. So we're going to do the outside wheel work first. Now that the outside's uh, been cleaned up, now we got to clean up the inside a little bit. Doesn't take much. <coughs> So the ISO, uh, the multi-fuel stove is the only stove that has uh, this kind of leg standing, and I, I developed this. And frankly, this is the my favorite part of the, uh, the build process, uh, because it takes a very special piece of equipment that I carry with me all the time uh, to make these. Let me show you how I do, let me show you how I do this. The special part I need is my thumb. Seems to be very calibrated, very consistent. And that's how we get that shape. The final stage is now we've got these exposed edges, so we've got to do a little uh, we've got to do a little hand work, so I've got a deburring tool. We're almost done. Again, the last piece of work we need to do is just clean up all the edges. And we're good to go. One completed multi-tool stove. Come visit us at www.blackhatgear.com.